Every year, over 130,000 military, law enforcement, and civilians train here at Fort Indian Town Gap National Guard Training Center. The 17,000-acre post is also home to many species of plants and animals. It requires a delicate balance to maintain this harmony while keeping the mission first. But our second priority is to make sure that these uh, landscapes are as good as we can get them. Good training habitat is also good natural habitat. As an example, Fort Indian Town Gap is one of only three places east of the Mississippi to support habitat for the rare regal fertility butterfly. The regal's one of the most imperiled, only being found here at Fort Indian Town Gap at Radford Army Depot in Virginia, and then not again for uh, many miles until you hit Indiana and the Mississippi River. Remarkably, both missions can be achieved because both require the most natural habitat possible. You want to represent the elements as best you can, and that's through your natural resources that are out here. The, the grass provides cover and concealment just like it provides cover and concealment for these regals. It generally goes hand in hand that when we start to open and uh, res restore some of these areas, it also becomes good open habitat for soldier training, uh, bivouacking, mortar firing, artillery firing, and, and maneuver out here. Fort Indian Town Gap conducts public tours to the Regal Fertility Habitat. The public enjoys it, the Regal seem to enjoy the attention, and seem to be happy here at Fort Indian Town Gap. Yeah, they won't leave posts, so I guess they're happy here. Bob Smith, National Guard Bureau Public Affairs.